my darlings. It is now Tuesday morning. We are here in London and um, Charlie and I are doing our talk this morning at the King's Road uh, George Smith store. It's all about styling your outside space. We're doing the talk with Freddie from Nicholson's so it's going to be really interesting. I think around 40 of you guys are coming along which is going to be lovely to meet you, chat all things gardens and luckily it is the most gorgeous day today and um, the store looks absolutely beautiful. The George Smith team have done a great job. There is a lovely seating area. Everyone gets one of these. Um, oh, there's a different one here. Everyone gets a little postcard with Dickens on it and some seeds to take home with them, which is so lovely. I think people are going to be arriving in around half an hour. It's always that nervous moment where we're like, I hope people actually turn up. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, it should be a really lovely morning. So I'll try and capture a little bit of behind the scenes for you. Yeah, we made it to George Smith. Old house, our home, ex Nicholson's and this lovely little window display. This is going to be our view for the morning. We are going to be the window display <laughs> for the morning. This is where we're going to do our little chat. Very exciting. Oh look, how nice is this? So on each of the seats there is a little seed packet and a little postcard. This is where I'd want to sit. Postcard with Dickie. Oh, that's so cute. I guess on one hand we, we felt fortunate that the garden was a black canvas because when you buy a property obviously you fall in love with the house and then you live there for a period of time and you start to maybe appreciate that certain elements of a house aren't as you would love to have it whether it be the kitchen not quite your style or so actually with the garden we were lucky we weren't bringing anything out we were just kind of adding to it. I think the challenge we had is we love to garden and we love to be, be out there but like anything, it's, it's trying to make it authentic to the surrounding area, the Oxford countryside, mm. and also the house, which is completely in part 700 years old. It's a big ticket item, the greenhouse, but a lot of people really want it just because they want it in their garden. But actually, I want people to really embrace, stop thinking about your greenhouse as somewhere where you need to go and work. You need to be in there and do potting and whatever else. Whack a three, four, five, six seater dining table in there, and you'll get an extra two, maybe even three months out of the year. You'll be in there from April, maybe even right at the end of March, if you get you know a hot day. Your greenhouse is going to be 20 degrees in there. Same through to you know October, maybe even even later, where you're dining out in the garden, enjoying it in a completely different time of year. You see, you just sat in the greenhouse rather than being in the you know on the main terrace freezing everything up. And that, that obviously buying our dream home sort of was the focal point okay. financially and yeah. everything. So we're getting it. thank well, big thanks to both of you here because Nick was in and yourselves with the with the help in the garden because mm -hmm. we're getting married in our garden, so crossing our fingers for good weather. But I think from a garden perspective we're <coughs> we we feel even more pressure this year because of the wedding. You know, we're out there looking at our pomatious border where little green things are shooting. We're like, or that with Josie the other day, I caught her talking to the alien saying, please don't come out here. Hold off for another month. I think this is going to be an adjustment. Obviously, we'd love to have children one day, and that, that, that's, that's going to be the next check to get you back. We're like, right, how do we protect all of this lovely stuff you've got from children? Um, football and, and everything. Post lunch treat. We're going to get some pistachio maitre choux. Oh my gosh, they are so delicious. Woohoo! It's lovely to see some of the coronation installations going in. A unicorn and a lion. Lion the witch in the wardrobe, maybe? How beautiful. Like, like that, in that sort of pattern. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Interior inspo at Soho Home. Such a gorgeous building. It has been a while since I lusted over a Chanel bag, so I think they've just got so expensive. But how cute is this? Little boucle, and it's almost like an antique gold on the clasp. That is adorable. from London I've just taken I've just come straight upstairs and taken off my makeup because my skin just felt so I don't want to say congested but like 
I just needed a deep cleanse after today in London. Um, so I apologize that I'm coming to you barefaced and yet still wearing my lovely dress. This is such a beautiful dress from Leo Lynn. I felt really lovely wearing this today. Um, it was a really, really wonderful day. The talk at George Smith this morning went so well. It was an audience of interior designers and um, a few of our followers came along as well and those who are interested in home and garden design. So really lovely start to the day. Um, and then we went to Sticks and Sushi to get a team lunch. And then as you saw, got some little maitre choux buns after that, which was such a treat. I then had a couple of meetings. And as you saw, I had a little look around Harrods, um, had a look at some of the designer pieces, some of the handbags. I looked in Dior, I looked in Chanel. Sorry, I'm just going to put something on my face, some serum. My usual Clé de Peau Le Serum. I'm gonna pop some of this on. Honestly, my skin after a day in London. <laughs> it just it just needs pampering. And I kept thinking to myself while I was walking around Harrods, why am I not loving this? I just, I don't know. Nothing was really appealing to me. I mean, yes, the bags were lovely and I went and had a coffee at the Prada Cafe between meetings and it was nice. Um, but then I walked through the luxury jewellery area and it just felt so unwelcoming, like there were ropes across the different areas, like there was a rope across the Van Cleef, and don't get me wrong, obviously I am a, a lover of Van Cleef, but there was like a rope across and it, was, and it said, oh please wait here to be seen to. And I just thought, how unwelcoming is that? Like, that does not make me want to go and shop there at all. I think it has the exact opposite effect on me. This is the Drunk Elephant Ceramite AF Eye Balm. And yeah, I just, I used to love um, walking around Harrods and looking in all the stores, but I don't know, something in me has changed. And I kept thinking, I would so much rather be walking around a garden centre right now and it's true, I think times have changed, times have changed and yeah, I just don't get excited by the same things anymore and then even just now getting the train back, I could almost feel my shoulders dropping and just my happiness coming back when the train went from city to country when I saw the fields and I mean look at my view right now. This is my view as I'm taking off my makeup. I feel so lucky to live here, so grateful that this is the view from my bathroom window, aside from our big ugly security camera, um, but I just love it, it's so wonderful, I just love living out in the countryside now, <laughs> more than I love handbags and oh, expensive jewellery, I love nature, <laughs> is that the cheesiest thing I've ever said, quite possibly. But yeah, I just could not wait to come and get some nice skincare on my face. I look a bit crazy now with my hair up in a bun and the dress is very very creased so I'm going to pop this in my fashion fridge I'm going to put this and my coat in my LG styler I wore a full like full length slip dress underneath this today because um, I thought it was going to be chilly but yeah loved the dress with hair and makeup done it looked great now that everything's pulled back and the dress is creased I'm not showing it off to its best potential. I should have shown you this earlier this morning, but hopefully we got some clips at the George Smith talk. So yeah, Charlie is preparing something yummy for dinner. Um, and then I think we'll go for a nice sunny evening garden walk. Where are you going, bunny? What a gorgeous evening. I'm just coming to check on my plants because we did have a light frost last night everything in here seems to have survived which is great news i could have come down and put some fleecing on the trees which have blossomed because oh i hope that door wasn't left open all night surely not oh my gosh did i bring stuff in here last night and then forget to shut the door that would have been really stupid Everything seems okay in here. Probably didn't get down to a frost in here. Sexy fragile looking gorgeous. I'll give everything a water tomorrow, just in case we get a chilly night again tonight. Look at this crazy tulip. Everything looking happy over here. I 
and how lovely that a few of the trees are coming into blossom. I was particularly worried about this tree but from what I can tell there's no frost damage over here. It would be so awful <laughs> if the crabapple arch didn't bloom fully because of last night's frost but again that looks absolutely fine as does this lovely one look at this how magical just think how amazing it's going to look in a few years when all of these trees are a little bit bigger blossoming at different times wildflower turf coming into bloom sausage dogs spotted in the wild Dexy Dexy! Good morning my darlings, it's now Wednesday morning. I'm in a very monochromatic workout outfit this morning, which very much represents my mood, and I'm sorry because I know I was grumpy for a bit in the last vlog as well. Um, but honestly, I'm just ready for sunshine and look, What's going on? I know we had a bit of sun yesterday in London, but why? Come on clouds, go away. I'm done. I'm done with winter. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for sunshine and warmth. And it's not coming and it's making me grumpy. So, um, grumpy Josie is about to head into the gym. Another PT session with Simon. Yes, I am stepping them up ahead of the wedding, but you know what? Wedding or not, I'm just loving feeling stronger. I may not be looking particularly any different. I was having this conversation with Chloe and Charlie yesterday that, like, one of life's little pleasures is food and sharing food with friends. And you guys know I will never say no to cheese. I will never turn down a burger and mac and cheese. I'll never turn down a pudding. I. I have no self-control when it comes to food and I love it and I actually have no regrets. I would rather not be like the perfect body and enjoy food because food is a social thing and some of my loveliest memories are eating food with friends and the catch-ups that you have and yeah, so basically feeling stronger, not looking much different because the muscle is all <laughs> hidden away somewhere deep within. But um, let me know if you guys would like to see any kind of, sorry, this this line is bothering me, but I think it's a scratch. Let me know if you guys would like to see a more in-depth PT session with Simon because we mostly do weightlifting together. And as you may know, I mix that in with bar and Pilates and <clears throat> HIIT workouts either at the gym by myself or classes at Bamford. So I'd say I have a really good mix. My favourite is my reformer Pilates, but I love, I, I feel myself getting so much stronger with these sessions with Simon. And the weights that I'm now lifting are like double the actual weight that I started. Sometimes, in some cases, like arm things, I'm doing more than double what I started. So the progression is happening, which is very, very exciting. So um, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see a more in-depth workout, because I know normally, obviously, I just put it on a time-lapse. And then today, despite the miserable weather, well, because of the miserable weather, I'm probably going to be inside all day. I've had a lovely few kind of fashion deliveries. I have been placing a few orders, even though the weather is not spring, the shops <laughs> are spring. And when I see spring things coming into the stores, it's the time that I like to really think about my spring wardrobe. So yeah, there's quite a bit of newness coming in. And I've also been ordering my mother, some mother of the bride outfits for our wedding this summer. So maybe I'll show you a little try on session with Lala. I know lots of you have actually been asking for that. Um, but mother of the bride outfits are quite an emotional thing. And we're not finding it a super easy task, let's just say. I mean, I want Lala to look and feel absolutely sensational on our wedding day. So it's really important that we find the right thing. So I think Lala is feeling the pressure. I've ordered a ton of dresses from Netta Porter. I know she's ordered a few more from Farfetch. So maybe I'll show you a little bit of the try on clips later if Lala is happy for me to film them, but um, she might not be. We might, we might just wanna make it like a thing that we do privately, but I'll show you the dresses. And even if I don't show you us trying, or Lala trying them on later, oh, Sorry, random surge of period cramp. <laughs> Do you ever get that where it just like surges up and it's like a momentary thing? Delightful. Um, <clears throat> 
yeah, so even if I don't show you try-on clips, I will show you the actual dresses that I bought, and then I'll give you the live feedback later. But anyway, I need to get into the gym. <laughs> Let's just hope that the weather cheers up, because then I will cheer up, but otherwise it's going to be a day of trying stuff on and talking about clothes. Hallelujah. Andiamo. <laughs> just done a very quick natural spring everyday makeup look using a few of the products that I am just loving at the moment. I'm going to finish with Laura Mercier's Translucent Pure Setting Spray. It apparently sets your makeup for 16 hours. This is one that you have to make sure you shake it and that is normally enough. I will very quickly want run through these products with you that I've just used because I'm very pleased with how this turned out. I have to say, a week in now-ish, I, oh, I've just managed to rub off my initials. Don't know why I thought that was an engraving. <laughs> it must have been a Sharpie situation. I'll just completely rub them off. There we go. Um, the Laura Mercier foundation has so impressed me. I think the color is maybe a little bit warm on my skin, but I quite like the flattering glow that that gives. Weightless, perfecting foundation, real flawless. This has blown me away more than any other foundation that I've tried lately. And I think that that could become like a, a forever favorite. Then what did I do? I did a little bit of spot touching up in areas that I wanted a tiny bit more coverage with the Merit Beauty Minimalist Stick. I love how convenient these are, like a, oh my God, except for when the entire product flies out of the tube. Oh dear. I think this is the one that I took with me to Oman and it unmelted itself from the tube, so luck. well, actually not luckily, I was gonna say luckily I'm wearing white trousers, but that's not lucky in the slightest. Um, aside from it flinging out of the tube, <laughs> it's a very good product, and I put it on my chin, I applied all my base with a, I can't have used that one, it's too clean, <laughs> with a Beauty Pie blending sponge. I just love these, I find them very, very useful. So that was the base, then what did I do? I did a little bit of the Merit Beauty Bronzing Balm Stick for a little bit of shape, a little bit of contour. Contour, because I can't do contour. And I used the Laura Mercier Foundation Flawless Foundation Brush to blend that in. Then what did I do? I set my base with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. I have got this snazzy limited edition one. Uh, what blusher did I use? Also Merit Beauty. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of leaning. <laughs> the Merit Beauty Stockholm Blush Balm is really lovely for like juicy, fresh pink cheeks. I've not even put on any highlight, um, but I feel that my base is glowing. Brows, I think I did a Tom Ford brow pencil, that's what I used, and then the Merit Beauty Blonde Voluminizing Pomade on the lips, just whizzing through just in case you're interested. Is it hot gossip? Oh no! Pillow Talk Lip Liner, and then the lovely Tarte Lip Plump Maracuja Juicy Lip Item in the shade CK71. No, it doesn't really have a shade, but that is just gorgeously balmy and a little bit tingly. What else? I think that's everything. Oh, as usual, I love to just finish adding some warmth and healthiness to my complexion with By Terry's CC in the Rose. So there we go. Lovely. Very happy with that makeup look. Just quick tidy of my space. I did use Air Wrap to finish off my hair today. Oh, eyeshadow, I used the pink color from the Blush Nude Bobbi Brown Jenny Packham palette, and then I used, unsurprisingly, my favorite 
the Merit Beauty Mascara because it's truly a wonderful mascara. Right, tidy space, tidy mind. So I mentioned that I wanted to do a little bit of unboxing with you today. Um, some bits that I've ordered from Netta Porter for both myself and for Lila. So I've got a box here and I think these are all bits for me. Let's open this up and uh, have a look inside together. Normally I select the eco packaging but I must have accidentally left it on the regular packaging tick box. Okay, I think this is just, oh my gosh, my thighs are killing. I don't know why, like the, the weights that I was squatting today were no heavier than what I normally squat because it was mostly an arm workout today. I didn't film that much because my camera battery died. Um, yeah, my thighs are killing. Ooh, yay, okay, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot about this. Some of these, ah, oh, okay, <laughs> you guys are gonna like this. How gorgeous, like how lovely does that look? It's literally like a gift to myself. <laughs> it's not gifted, I did buy all of this stuff with my very own pennies and many pounds. So we have got, first of all, a little pair of shoes here, which I'm hoping are gonna be just so gloriously comfortable that I will want to wear them every day this summer. I feel like I've got, I'm in a really good place with summer shoes. My Aquazura straw heels that I've got in um, neutral and in green, I wear a lot. And I always think that if you wear something a lot and you see something that's kind of similar, then it's a good suggestion that you will also get good wear out of the similar item. Am I right in thinking this brand? Is it Loeffler Flair Randall? Please correct me if I am Loeffler. Flair. Lofler Randall. Um, the, are they the ones that did the sandals that had like all the pleated material that I've got the Amazon dupes of? Let me show you. Look at me trying to be all Gen Z with my dupe. <laughs> I am not cool enough to say that. Yeah, so I've got the Amazon version, let's say, of these shoes with the pleats. I will leave them linked down below because I think they're fabulous. But is it Lofler, Lofler Randall that did the original versions of these, I think it was. I think they'd make such nice bridesmaid shoes. But yes, I saw this pair, oh, they're gorgeous, <laughs> on Nessa Porter and I thought, yes, that is a Josie shoe. Okay, so you can see raffia, you can see <laughs> straw detail, because we know that I have a problem saying no to anything raffia. These look quite large. Six and a half, that's got to be a US size six, surely. I really hope it's not UK size six, because then it would be double my shoe size. They feel very substantially made, look at that. Beautiful bow detail on the front, slippy the footy in there, a little chunky block heel which we adore, and a wrap around the foot, what do you want to call it? Ankle support. Six and a half B apparently is the size that I've got. I love the look of those. I hope they're comfortable. If they're not, then I will have to return them because they're very similar to my Aquazura. Similar in that they are a low block heel and that they are raffia to my Aquazura heels. But if they are comfy, then they could be a really nice alternative. Sometimes I think one of the reasons where I, why I wear my Aquazura heels so much is because they're so easy to slip on because they don't have any straps. They're literally just a mule, whereas these will require me to um, stra strap myself in. So will I pick them up as much as my Aquazuras? Let's see, I'll try them on in a second. Second pair of shoes from Stoud. Compared to the beautiful pink delicate box of the Loe Fleur <laughs> Randalls, this is very aggro branding. But let's see, dust bag, <laughs> more raffia, oh my gosh, see here we go, a raffia mule with tan, a tan chunky block heel, again these look large, but these are a 36, now these, because they are slip on, and they're raffia and tan, I can't imagine that I would get a lot of wear out of these. So yes, again, I'll try them on in a second. Um, I imagine they're gonna be very comfortable and I imagine that I would get a lot of wear out of them. So let me know what you guys think to these two new pairs. 
also in this order. I saw this and I just thought how fun and fabulous. It is a little summer dress, so optimistic, when I'm wearing like a full knitwear outfit as well, from Zim Zim, my favorites, Zimmerman, look how scruffy I am. And it's just got the sweetest bead, shell bead detail all around the edges. These little spaghetti straps with the shells, You've got dangly little mini conch shells on the straps. How cute. And even at the bottom, look at this. It's like a mermaid outfit. And on a really hot day when you just want to look so cute, it's going to be a very short little dress, but I'll try that on when I've eaten something because actually I'm just ravenous. Yeah, I'll try that on with the shoes in a second. <laughs> and now I'd actually forgotten that I'd ordered these bits. Because if you watched it to the very end of the last vlog, I did an H&M unboxing and I said that the H&M lace underwear, I'll pop a photo of what I mean on the screen here, is almost identical to Hanky Panky. Um, and here, guess what I have bought? A set of Hanky Panky underwear. This could be quite an interesting comparison, couldn't it? I have put all of the new H&M ones in the wash though, so I can't do that comparison right now. Oh, these ones are not actually full lace. They are like flat fabric and lace. Is this hanky panky? Yeah, I mean, my goodness. Literally, they look exactly the same as the H&M ones, exactly the same. They will, of course, tell you that the, the Italian lace is super high quality, and yes, it is, they are lovely. I won't send them back because I can never have too much underwear and they are very practical and completely seamless, but if your budget does not stretch to hanky-panky underwear, I got a set of three of the beige colour, um, then check out the H&M. I will leave the H&M ones linked down below. Again, do you know what? I'm actually wearing the H&M version of this bra right now. I think the H&M team have just gone to hanky-panky and literally copied all of their designs. So this is the hanky-panky black lace bra, and... Yeah, I am wearing, am I revealing anything too much? Well, let's see. I mean, yeah, the hanky panky one feels the tiniest bit nicer, but not, not noticeable, really not noticeable. If I was to cut the labels out of both of these and put them both in my drawer, then I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. And I have got quite a lot of H&M underwear that I've had for ages and I, I couldn't say, oh, they, they don't last very well in the wash because actually they do. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the hanky panky stuff linked down below, but I'm also gonna leave the H&M bits linked down below. This is another type of hanky panky bra without lace on the bosoms. It's um, more of a covered bit. So there we go. And what's in this little tissue? Ooh, lovely. White hanky panky. I love how I've shown you underwear in my last two vlogs. But um, yeah, so there we go. That was what was in my net porter order. I'm fully topped up on new underwear <laughs> for spring now. And shoes, it would appear. I haven't actually eaten anything aside from my morning smoothie since my workout. So I'm just gonna go and make myself some eggs. And then we'll do a little try on of the Zimmerman dress and those shoes. And I also have just received a Reese order, which I'll try on with you as well. Okay, my darlings, back upstairs. I'm really amazed how well this lip gloss <laughs> survived my, my lunch eating, or I think that's really a brunch. I'm probably gonna have some more food later. Apologies in advance if anyone doesn't like really producty vlogs, because I feel that from now on this vlog is just gonna be quite producty, because I'm about to do a little Reese try on for you. Um, but I also just went down to the post room and I've got some new little bits and bobs to share with you as well. CB2 have very kindly updated me or um, replenished my CBD supplies. I take these drops very regularly. This is their 5% 1500 milligram CBD oil. This is my CBD of choice when I have those afternoons. In fact, maybe when I finish my coffee today, I might actually take a few drops. It just brings me down a notch when I'm feeling a bit jittery and a bit overwhelmed. <clears throat> or 
almost a little bit anxious, then I take a few drops of those. But yeah, these are little um, little capsules, THC free, vegan, clean ingredients. So yeah, big fan of those. I think these are the same, 900 milligram little capsules. So what I might do is pop those in my office drawer and these in my bedroom drawer because I'm a big lover of CBD. The next thing is um, my new AirPods. I didn't realize that um, they bought out new versions of AirPods. I just thought there were AirPods. I thought that there were the ones with the wire, the in-ear ones, the more expensive in-ear ones, and then the new overhead ones. I was very tempted by the overhead ones, and I actually <laughs> WhatsApped Susie a few weeks ago, and I was like, tempt me into buying them, because I'd quite like a pair. But I didn't end up getting them. And then my existing AirPods, um, the right ear just started rattling a little bit and I use them a lot for editing and also listening to podcasts and things like that as well as in the gym so I thought I would treat myself to a new pair. I believe these are like second generation or are they called third generation? I don't know. They are the newest kind. Um, I think I've got the case on back to front. Oops daisy. Gosh that case is very solidly on. Phew. I think they go that way around. Yeah. <clears throat> um, oh, so you can see. <laughs> well, there'll be no confusing whose AirPods are whose because I got Josie with a little heart. Um, I thought it was going to be engraved, but I'm pretty sure that's just a sticker on the front there. And then Apple recommended this cute little case to me. It's almost like a boucle case. I thought it was very, very cute indeed. So just decided. Have I done that the wrong way around again? Just decided to treat myself to a new set of AirPods. There we go. Lovely. Right, I'm gonna stick those on charge. And by the way, if you guys don't have these, these are literally the handiest things in the entire world. It is, it's a charging block for your phone, but they magnetize onto the back of your phones, which is so, so clever. Does obviously make your phone a bit heavier, but no wires, no faffing, and it holds at least, I think, an entire phone's worth of charge. So I always have one of those in my handbag for days in London. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, maybe, that you can actually charge your AirPods on them too, which is very handy indeed. So, that was the second thing in the post room. And then the third thing, these were actually some little gifts from Casetify. Casetify emailed me a couple of weeks ago asking if I'd like any new phone accessories. And I said, actually, yes, because my phone is currently caseless, which is, oh, I've broken a nail. I've got regular polish on my nails at the moment. And you know, it just doesn't have the same protection as if you have a gel or a manicurist uh, polish on. So that is a shame. Anyway, so yes, I said yes please to Casetify. They had some really cute, I think they might have collaborated with someone on these designs, but I cannot remember the details. However, I thought that was a really cute little spring flowery case. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if this is like the mega level of protection, but I have to say, for someone who's very clumsy, like myself who always drops their phone, it is so important to have a good quality phone case on because this will protect your phone so much. And we do rely on our phones, don't we, for many things. Um, and then they also included this. I don't know if I chose this or if they just included it, but it's a really sweet and pretty little um, charm, like a pearl charm, which I think is such a good idea. How do you attach it? Do you just like thread it through the bottom? I'll have a play in a second. This phone case, I think, with the black outline, that's pretty, little poppies, Californian poppies, um, I feel will probably be a little bit more protective. I think that that black around the edge probably offers another layer of protection, but it does make your phone look very dark. So yeah, but it's cute. Oh, I just had a really sweet picture pop up. Where did that come from and where did that go? Where did it come from, Kanajo? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I had a really cute picture of me with Robin when she was literally just about to give birth to. Oh, there it is. Cooking. Oh. <laughs> just a really random um, <sighs> slideshow. Anyway, really sweet little case, very highly protective. And they sent over this, which I'm not sure how you attach it to your phone, um, but it's like a little card slip. So you would 
pop that on the back of your phone and then you can keep your card in there like if you have to have a pass for work or something then that could just be exceptionally useful i'm going to try attaching the pearl item in one of these little blocks it's got a c can you can you see it's got a little c so i guess i guess it's c for case to five but i can pretend it's c for charlie or something cute like that can't i right i'm going to try attaching it here i don't know what you're meant to do but that seems like a fairly sensible option oh my god i have 20 unread whatsapps from my girl group that's actually worked out really, really nicely. So I now have a little dangly pearl. So that's just like an extra layer of security and it looks quite cute on your wrist. I think I'll feel more secure in London. And also like if I drop my phone, then it'll get captured by the pearl thing. That's a really nice idea. Okay, I need to definitely get in the habit of putting my wrist through that. I hope it doesn't make it harder for me to access my charging, charging um, area. Really cute, very happy with that. Thank you, Casetify. I will see if my mum <laughs> wants this one, although I know she loves her current phone case, which is also from Casetify. But I shall ask her. Anyway, back to fashion, and I have two more net porter bits to share with you, and then we'll move on to the Reese try on. Okay, so there was another box <laughs> from Re uh, Reese. Netta Porter, and um, this one contains something somewhat larger from somewhat of a favourite brand of mine. Not sure if I'm going to keep it, so again, I would really appreciate your honest thoughts. And then Agua, I think it's called Agua de Bendita, they always present their items so beautifully. This was the pouch that this came in. I'm always on the lookout for really beautiful swimming costumes, especially now that I'm swimming more regularly at Bamford Club, because I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit of a fashion show there with wonderful ladies wearing wonderful swimming costumes. I thought that was rather lovely. Might go for a swim. When am I next gonna have time? Maybe not until Saturday, which is four days away. But yeah, I can't wait to wear this and really nice high, it's not even a high leg cut, it like goes into a little triangle. So that's gonna be really leg elongating, I hope. And then, in this large, shush, sorry. <laughs> the girls WhatsApp group is kicking off. Okay, so this is a potential new summer tote bag. Do I need a new summer tote bag? No. Do I have a problem <laughs> and absolutely love them? Yes, and I do love to see what Chloe are bringing out. So. I love how big this is because I love a big bag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So here it is. It's very simple, I have to say. Is it worth the amount of money? I can't remember exactly how much this was, but it's actually really, really simple. Do you know what? I'm not sure that I actually love this. It's a little bit gray tone in the fabric and white handles, these like D rings here loads of padding very large bag and like the dior book tote no internal pockets the only most subtle branding in the entire world it's like a game of where's wally is this very subtle chloe down here not that i buy bags for the branding um <laughs> doesn't really bother me if i like a bag then i like a bag but i just feel like I mean, this would be a really nice gym bag. It would actually be a very nice gym bag. I think I'll try holding it with um, some of the Reese outfits, but I also need to remind myself how much I paid for it because it's lovely and it's big, but is it special enough for the inevitably pretty high price tag? That is what I need to figure out. Yeah, I have, I have no doubt that I get lots of use out of it. But do I have similar things already? Anyway, I feel like um, I need to get on with this Reese trial because I'm so excited because there's so many gorgeous bits that I would like to share with you. Okay, my darlings, <laughs> there are two elephants in the room, <laughs> two things which um, I should address immediately. So first of all, apologies, black bra, white t-shirt, not, not the dream vibe, but we will move on. Second elephant in the room, I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> I don't normally wear jeans. Chloe described them just now as my nemesis, which pretty much sums it up. But I saw this particular pair on the Reese website and I just thought they looked so lovely. And I feel that I should, 
I should start to wear jeans, I should start to style them. I think ever since I have been a little bit more mindful as to what I am eating, um, cutting out processed foods and things like that, I, I, I don't know that that is the connection, but it's just the same timeline. My painful area, because of my endometriosis, has not been so painful in the last like six months. So I don't know what the cause is, but in my head maybe it's probably to do with the fact that I'm eating a lot more of a wholesome diet. So I can wear jeans now, or I could wear jeans now, and not feel ridiculously uncomfortable. These have got a little bit of stretch to them. Not a huge amount of stretch, but just enough to make them comfortable. Um, nice on the booty. Uh, do you know what? I just need tutorials on when one would wear jeans and what footwear do you wear with jeans? That's the thing. So I feel like I want a little bit of a height boost. So I also have these from the Reese Order, another beautiful pair of raffia shoes. They are very elegant actually, they've got a wooden heel. Would you wear shoes like this with jeans? I guess as the weather warms up you probably would if you wanted to style up your jeans. Yeah, I like that. So let me show you the bottom of the jeans. I don't know jean technology, are they drain pipe jeans? Is that what you call them? When they're fairly straight down to the bottom. I do think they look quite cool with the um, heels, but as always, leaning to you guys <laughs> for advice on how to style jeans. But what do you think? I think they are rather lovely, a nice wash, a flattering fit, and the t-shirt, I have had many a t-shirt from Reese in the past, and I've always found them to be really good quality. This one is a very relaxed, kind of mottled, would you call it a mal? Kind of finish, very bright, I apologise, but yeah, just like a really nice practical t-shirt material. So very happy with outfit number one. If you are building a spring basics wardrobe collection, then this would be a fantastic place to start. Okay, my darlings, I feel like we are going a little bit out of my comfort zone here. The reason I have not done this shirt up yet is because, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not flashing you, this top that I have got on underneath, um, it's like a bandeau top with a twist in the middle that would just be the most amazing, like, mega heatwave day top. I have got a little birthmark in the middle of my tummy. So I'm always a little bit self-conscious about, like, showing this area, but if you want something that you could just have as a layering piece under a blouse or even under a t-shirt that if you did get too hot you could just whip it off or for like a pool party or a beach party i think it's such a nice color as well do you know what maybe i've got it on backwards you could wear it the other way around because the back is just a big plain back but the star of the show in reality i would say is this shirt you won't probably be able to tell on camera especially when my camera completely whitewashes but it is the most incredible material quite boxy if not tucked in i would most probably tuck it in i can see already in the moments <laughs> that i've had it on that it is a bit of a creaser is it linen it certainly feels like linen 66% linen, 34% acetate. This is so random. I have never seen this before on a label. It says, contains components of animal origin. <laughs> what the heck does that even mean? I really don't know. But the material truly is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like an artist <laughs> wearing the jeans and the shirt untucked. It feels like a very cool, smart, like, you know those girls that are, like, they work in East London, they're a little bit cool. I feel like that, but then how I would probably be tempted to style it, I mean, realistically, I'd probably tie it in a little bow like so, um, or I would maybe try tucking it in to these fabulous jeans. Oh my gosh, I feel like if I had a, what's the word, ulterior motive? Alter ego. I feel like if I had an alter ego and I was a little bit more like cool and creative, then this is what I would want to wear all the time. And maybe you guys have that as your alter ego or that is the life that you live. Um, but I am worried that I'm flashing you. <laughs> 
I think I've got this on the wrong way up because there's like a gooey bit down at the bottom. Anyway, I love how this looks. Again, we are talking about those totally classic, timeless things for a spring wardrobe. These jeans I'm loving. I really, really like them. I know you guys are not used to seeing me in jeans, but I would love to know what you think. Love them with these shoes and this looks so nice. This feels like such a breathable shirt. I love the linen kind of, it's almost got a kind of scratchy look into the fabric. Looks really nice rolled up. It's got a smartness about it and yet it looks creative, if that makes sense. Let's see it with the giant Chloe bag. This bag is even bigger than the Dior book tote. It almost looks like a comedy bag. Like it looks like someone supersized a bag. Don't you think? Do you think it's too big? What do you guys think? Let me know. Does it make me look small or do I make the bag look big? It's just huge. It's absolutely ginormous. I'm loving all these neutral colors though. I feel like, I feel like an Instagram cool girl. <laughs> And I don't know if it feels like me. Okay, my darlings, we have something rather special here. This is the loveliest dress. I've just lightly cinched it in around the waist. Should I do a double, double knot? Maybe I should, just to keep it nice and tight. This would be the most wonderful, elegant work day dress. If you are... If you're a bit of a boss and you want to look very smart, very elegant and a little bit dressy but just like you mean business, then this is truly lovely. I actually really like the fact that there's a slit up the middle. You don't actually show too much leg while you're walking, it's more actually when you're stood and you can reveal a little bit of leg if you want to. It's a little bit cheeky but still very professional. I like the fact that you've got the pockets. I love the colour, it's super neutral. There's something a little bit coat dress about it because of the thickness of the material. You've got this really beautiful um, kind of almost ribbon but like folded bit of material there. The cinch around the waist, the really big collar. You don't have a button there. I was gonna say you could do it all the way up if you wanted to. You could definitely add your own hook and eye but otherwise it's quite a loose and open neckline. I start it with the Reese Raffia shoes. What bag? You can imagine with a fairly smart little bag that would look absolutely gorgeous. I feel like if I was a lawyer or an interior designer or head of PR for Dior Beauty, <laughs> this is the kind of thing that I would wear to work. It feels very smart, very elegant and I absolutely love it. I really really love it. It feels very mature, very polished and just truly wonderful. Really wonderful. Nice for this time of year as well. Next time I have a day of meetings in London, this will be my outfit. Okay, my darlings, next we have got two really gorgeous pieces, two really lovely separates. I'm not sure if I would actually wear them together or what kind of occasion would require me to wear them together, but I love each of these individual, individual pieces separately. So first of all we have got this really stunning kind of ribbed knitted top which would probably actually look really cool with the jeans. I think that would be a lovely way of styling this. Just the simplicity of adding this contrast white to the neckline I think looks gorgeous. It would in fact look truly wonderful I feel with the linen shirt over the shoulders. Okay now I can picture <laughs> where I would wear this. I would wear this as a going down to breakfast on a morning on a holiday or um, you're staying with a friend and you just want to be I don't know, it's just that kind of like easy vibe, easy to wear vibe. I love the shirt over the shoulder. The neckline on this top is so lovely. I love this detail. And then the shorts, little linen shorts, an elasticated waistband, they are very short shorts, but they're just, they're more of like an off-white kind of color, little pockets, very, very flattering and very sporty. Again, with a linen shirt. These feel more like summer wardrobe essentials than spring wardrobe essentials but I am still hopeful that we're gonna get some warm weather this spring. I would probably wear little flat shoes with this, um, something a little bit sporty, maybe even trainers, or my little, maybe one of my pairs of raffia mules, if I wanted it to be a little bit more casual. Can you see? 
very cute very very cute again the kind of things in your wardrobe that are just so lovely great for holiday great for relaxed days at home and the kind of things that are going to be in your wardrobe for many years to come so a lovely little timeless investment piece from Reese okay my darlings this is a dramatic hair flick this is the final piece from Reese and it is not ever a Josie Spring haul without a white dress of sorts. So here we have the obligatory white dress of the haul. It is a really lovely material. It's quite a smart cotton material. I do feel as though this would be a perfect outfit if I was going to a spa or if I managed a spa. <laughs> I don't know why I always picture myself in all these different job roles but um, really really lovely. Reese always get the cut and the silhouette of their pieces so spot on. The skirt has a little bit of a soft a-line to it and you can see where they have created these different panels and I actually really like that you can see the doubling up of the fabric. Do you see what I mean where it's like a little bit thicker in places so it almost gives a very subtle stripe to the skirt you've got a little bow tie detail it does come with a slip on the inside and then you've got a little tie detail here quite unusual finish on the arms you've got just a very little tuck to cinch it in around the elbow but still quite loose sleeves really different silhouette it's unlike any of the white dresses that I currently have in my wardrobe a really nice one for looking a little bit smarter at work maybe and now also I have popped on the Loewe Flair Randall sandals let's bring you down and I'm unsure I think they're very, very pretty, that is that is a definite, but they are a little bit, I mean, they take about 15 seconds each to put them on, and would I be bothered to do that when I've got my gorgeous Aquazura? Oh, just looking at them in the mirror, they are so pretty, but I love these so much, and I just am actually a very lazy person, and I like to be able to slip things on and off very quickly, and also, there's something about when shoes have got this strap going across the foot that sometimes I feel like it actually, sorry I'm trying not to flash you, I feel like it does sometimes break up your leg and make your legs look a little bit shorter. So, as Natalie and Brulio would say, I'm torn. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, most of me is actually saying to return the shoes, which is very sad, but it's it's very, um, actually also they're quite similar-ish to my new Reese ones as well, so I really don't need three pairs of raffia shoes, do I? Not. Final thing to share with you, my darlings, is this very cute little Zimmerman dress, don't worry, I did not forget about it and it is just absolutely adorable it's got cute little pockets it's a very short dress for me I don't normally go quite this short but I feel that this would be my mega hot heat wave summer day dress and yet it's smart as well so again any lovely uh, lunches or days out with friends holidays um, honeymoon need to start thinking about that we haven't planned anything yet um, it's just really really cute I love the floral pattern all over it it feels like a very lightweight and easy dress breathable material so great for a hot summer's day I just love the shell detail and I'm thinking to all the kinds of holidays that we go on including Kefalonia with our family at the end of summer I always love to wear things like this like slip it on at lunchtime so yeah I feel like this is the kind of thing that I will get a lot of wear out of on various holidays I do feel like I have a lot of things dangling you can um, undo these little ties and you can tie the straps to make them shorter or longer do them up in a little bow again oops like so and grab a little basket bag <sighs> That is a really cute little summer look. Do we feel that the dress is maybe too short? Is it too young? <laughs> Am I too old? <laughs> Am I too old to be here? <laughs> is that a TikTok? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really cute. And a splurge, yes. But I feel like this is the summer of 
fabulous dresses so I'm very happy with this I'm still wearing the lower flare randals um, but I think I have decided that I'm going to return them because all of these outfits would look just as lovely if not lovelier with my aquazuras and the new race shoes so I think that is my mind made up Well, my darlings, didn't actually manage to film anything during the try-on session because, oh, it was um, a lot of emotion. And I'm pleased to say that we have found the one for Lala. This is not the one, but this was nearly the one. So I thought I would share this one with you because I feel that this is such a beautiful option for mothers of the bride, if you are looking. It's from a brand called Reem Acra. And the material is absolutely gorgeous. It's got this little embellishment here to cinch it in. It was, yeah, as I said, very, very nearly the one. It's quite long, so we would have shortened it at the front and then we would have left it as a long option at the back. I'm gonna keep the dress that we did finally decide on a secret because it's quite a wow dress and I think it'll be a very special moment for Lilla when she gets to wear it. It is a very unforgettable piece and I think everyone's just going to be like, oh my gosh, Elaine, you look incredible. Um, so yeah, shout out to this one, a very close second. Um, we also really like this and it's not quite enough for either of the wedding events because we are doing two days, um, but it looked so lovely and we loved the shape so much. This is from a brand called 16 Arlington. doesn't look quite as dramatic off as it does on but it looked so lovely that I think we're going to keep it as a Christmas dress for Lilla. So yeah, got a few dresses here which um, we are going to send back. I accidentally ordered two of the Arlington, a lovely Erdem which again we actually said yes to this before we tried on the other Erdem which she's going to wear for the garden party day. Um, some bright yellow numbers and this pink Amelia Wickstead. Some really gorgeous options. I got all of these on Netta Porter and um, I will leave a little graphic link down below which has got even more dresses that we found and dresses of different budgets. So yeah, very, very happy with the outcome of this afternoon. And darlings, I think this vlog is getting pretty darn long and I think Charlie and I are just gonna stick a Dalesford curry in at the Arga for our dinner. So I'm going to actually end the vlog here, bid you good night. Don't worry, by the way, that's not my wedding dress, just in the background of this vlog casually, can you imagine? Um, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, my darlings, and say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Good night. <laughs>